Hello and welcome to another tutorial by QuickSite.com. In this tutorial we're going to go over um, email accounts and using webmail. Um, this is a issue I get a lot of questions on and there seems to be some confusion. Um, the first thing to point out is that uh, your, your webmail um, through your cPanel, and this is kind of what you're looking at here, this is a standard cPanel layout for a Linux hosting account. But uh, the email accounts, they're just like Hotmail, Google, or Yahoo. Um, the format's going to be a little different, but the function is exactly the same. You've got you know, a button to send your mail. You've got a you know, button to compose or create new messages. And you know, it doesn't really matter which uh, mail server you go to. The steps are the same. But the nice thing about having a mail account through your domain name is it allows you to have a email account as the domain name or have your domain name as the core of that email account. So for example, webmaster at planettucker.com, for example, and I don't have to use a Hotmail, Gmail, or Yahoo account. So the first thing you would do is you need to set up that account, and you do so um, under the icon that says email accounts. When you click that, you'll notice that it will give you a drop-down box of all the available domain names you have, and Again, this is top grade hosting, so if I wanted to type in, I'm not going to actually say these changes, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to say new email account. Alright, so new email account at topgradehosting.com. That would be the email address. And then the password, you, you'll want to remember this because this is what you'll need to log in to that email account. And uh, you type the password here, and then of course you type it again there and when both those boxes check and you hit create it's going to add it to this list here and this list is representative of all the other email accounts that you've created once you've created those email accounts there's actually two ways to check your webmail um, one way is to go to the icon directly to the right of the email account icon you can click that and when you do it says go to webmail and it's going to go to your default account now if you have other accounts, the second way to do it, and this is the way I recommend because it ensures you're into the right account, is go into the email accounts icon, the same place you went to create the new email account, and off to the right, uh, it says under access webmail, there's this little icon of a globe. And so whatever email account that you're wanting to check, simply click on that, and it's going to pop up a box and ask for a password. And that password is the same password that we typed into here earlier. So that's why you want to remember it. But otherwise, once you type your password in, whoops, then you'll get into a screen that kind of looks like this. Now, um, people get confused here. Horde, Squirrel Mail, and Roundcube, these are just different formats. And it's just going to it's going to show the same information but just in different ways. This would be like uh, Yahoo versus Google versus Hotmail, for example. Um, they're all going to hold your messages. They're all going to be able to send mail. I personally like Squirrel Mail. But before we uh, get into that, I want you to draw your attention to these icons down here. A lot of people want to know how to do autoresponders or if I want to forward this mail to another mailbox um, or change my password. You've got all this down here. If you want to configure the mail client to your Outlook, um, that's what this icon would do here. Autoresponder, basically you would type in a message as to um, the message that you would like to send back to the person who sent you a message automatically. Um, we'll go ahead and click on that to take a look. But uh, basically you just click on that and hit Add Autoresponder. And you get to tell who the message is from, the subject, and the body that you want to go back to everybody who responds to that mailbox. Otherwise you also have forwarding options. In which case you can add a forwarder and it simply asks you what is the email that you want all the messages that come into this mailbox to send a copy to. And then you would hit uh, or, or save those changes. And that is really basically how you handle your webmail. So again, it can all be done uh, through your cPanel, 
through uh, the email accounts icon. Again, you can use the webmail icon to get to your webmail, your default account. Otherwise, um, I would suggest you use the email accounts icon because this allows you to both create new accounts and also to access the ones that you have. Also, you'll notice you have a delete function, change quota, change password, and you can also configure the mail client um, under this functions column here. And that is how you would use your webmail through your cPanel, and that concludes this tutorial.